Hey, this is Brett from WP Theme Speed, and lately we've been going through a number of tutorials on how to migrate from WordPress.com to a GoDaddy Managed WordPress hosting account, essentially running WordPress software on a GoDaddy Managed WordPress system. And today, we're going to take a look at some of the SEO things that you need to do after you've moved the content over. So your content has been set up within the new GoDaddy site, everything's running smooth, there are some new bases that you need to cover, some advantages that you get from setting up your own site uh, on your own hosting account and we're going to cover those today. So there are a number of SEO plugins. Plugins is the key thing here. You can't use uh, plugins as easily on WordPress.com sites as you can on uh, WordPress when you install it on your own host. And now that we've moved our content into our own site running on GoDaddy, we can use some of those plugins. There's two that I tend to turn to. One of those is All-in-One SEO been using that for years and, and I'm in the uh, admin area of WordPress I'm adding a new plugin and I'm doing a quick search over here uh, for that particular plugin it's called the all-in-one SEO plugin you can install that here if you like or there's another one that is called Yoast SEO and this is the one I'm going to set up on this particular site for a couple different reasons I like them both in different situations, I use them interchangeably. On this particular site, we're gonna be using the Yoast tool. So we see it here, it's called Yoast SEO. We've already used a different plugin from Yoast that allows us to connect Google Analytics into our WordPress account. And we've installed it, now we're going to activate the plugin. It is now set up. And the newest version is running. We're going to hide these quick uh, items. We can do a tour if we like. Now that we've just installed this, and we can take a look at the uh, general settings. Take a look at our uh, information. We can take a look at uh, webmaster tools verification security number of things we can save our changes we can go through and input uh, these items in here if you click on these links uh, they will take you to the various places where you can add uh, some codes and things like that that'll help you connect in this particular case this kicks me into Google's webmaster tools uh, area and we haven't verified this account yet, so we're going to take a look at verifying uh, that this account is set up. We have Google Analytics already running, so I'm choosing alternate methods, I'm choosing Google Analytics. I'm gonna hit the verify button, and voila, it's verified. Uh, let me go back now and uh, click this link again now that we've verified. Um, still wants our history already verified may not need that anymore don't need to subscribe after we install this you'll see a new uh, area within the admin area uh, of WordPress uh, a new uh, sub menu that is not an area within an area but a sub menu in the WordPress admin area and it's called SEO there are sub items below it general titles metals meta social XML sitemaps advanced tools search console etc I'm going to take a look at each of these real quick. We've seen some of these, but I want to show you where they are in the menu system. We have titles and how they might be displayed. The titles are the little bit of text that shows up when you hover over a tab in a browser. Uh, there's HTML code in there as well that you can see if you wanted to view the code, but this would be an example of a title. We can set rules for how our homepage titles look and then rules for how each of our post types look, our categories or tags or uh, other taxonomies, our archives, like the author archive or date archive, and we can uh, no index uh, author archives if we want to. This is a single author site. So I'm going to disable the author archives so there's no duplicate content issues, as well as uh, date-based items. So just a little bit of fine-tuning there. 
We have some social connections, which can be set up if you have some of these connections. Sometimes Google likes to track these so that they can cross index uh, how you're connected in various ways. So you can add your links in there. And this is the one that we're looking for in particular, the XML uh, sitemap. Now a couple things here. Um, I'm gonna turn off the tour information real quick. We want this XML sitemap. We need to make sure, we're gonna check our settings to make sure that this is our standard WordPress settings. We're gonna open this in a new tab and we're gonna double check our settings to make sure that this is turned on for the search engines to see it. We wanna make sure that this box is unchecked and it is. That means we are allowing Googlebot in to view our site and we are doing that. Once that is unchecked, we can go back to this particular uh, area and we can uh, view our sitemap. So we can going to open that in a new tab. Oops, don't like the way I did that. Maybe I have to click the button. Find our sitemap here. And it's not generating. So a bit of an error, which is a good thing. Let's see if we can figure out how we can get this running. We don't want Everything looks good up there. Should be working. Ah, let's, uh, we're in GoDaddy. We're gonna flush the cache. Uh, GoDaddy tries to serve up the site extra fast. Maybe uh, in doing that, they didn't yet know about our XML sitemap, which we just set up. So I've cleared out the cache by hitting this flush the cache button. This is something you'll only see when you're using uh, GoDaddy uh, as your managed WordPress host. Let's see if that solves our problem still doesn't. Try flushing that cache again. Let's, uh, I'm gonna come in here and clear my own browser cache just to see if that helps. Still nothing. Let's try saving our changes. Okay, so I was having a little trouble getting the sitemap to show up. Uh, this is a new installation and it's running on GoDaddy uh, Managed WordPress Hosting. I found a quick solution. Up here there's a check this box to enable, turn it on, the XML sitemap functionality. That was set on by default and it should have triggered the XML sitemap. But I came in here and I checked that box, I saved my changes, and then I checked it, uh, or I unchecked it, then I checked it again, saved my changes again, uh, something in doing this process seems to refresh the system. I can then come over here, hit that box, and this is what my sitemap looks like. Uh, what's going on is there's a sitemap index. That's what this is. If we look in the address bar, you'll see that it's sitemap underscore index dot XML. And there are then subcategories of additional sitemaps below that. One of those is the post sitemap, another is the page sitemap, category sitemap, and the post tag sitemap. If we were to click on the post sitemap, type, we can see a list of 28 different URLs on this particular site, 28 blog articles essentially that have been created since this new site has been set up. Now, when we go into uh, Webmaster Tools for the same website, one of the things that we'll then need to do is submit a sitemap for this particular site. Let me to do that, I believe it's in site settings, preferred domain. Uh, this particular website uses doesn't use www. Oops, here we go. So we'll set that. Uh, we've already verified. Under, uh, I lost it there for a second. We want to go into the crawl submenu, expand that, and then come down to sitemaps. Now, we'd incorrectly submitted a page that we call on this particular site 
sitemap of articles. This is a legacy page from when the site was on wordpress.com where creating an XML sitemap isn't possible. Um, one of our users had come in through our website and created a page with a list of all of the articles in it. I'll show you where that is. Uh, it's just this page called sitemap of articles and it has hyperlinks. This is an HTML page that a uh, any given user can read. This isn't necessarily the thing that Googlebot's looking for when we talk about sitemaps though. Um, they want something different. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna delete this. That's not what Google's looking for. These are not the sitemaps you're looking for. Thank you, Obi-Wan. And we're going to add a new sitemap, the new sitemap. We're gonna add two of them actually. We only need the last part of this address bar field, sitemap underscore index. Come back over here, we're going to paste that in and submit the sitemap. If we refresh the page, we'll see that it's in and that it's pending. And in this case, I like to be double sure with the blog articles, especially these are important. I'm gonna submit a second sitemap of, of these as well. Now, Google will find this through the sitemap index. This isn't exactly necessary, but this is extra important. I wanna be double sure. So I'm gonna submit that refresh the page and I can see they're now both pending for this particular site. So there's our process. We've created these sitemaps. Now we can see these. They're not real easy for us to read, but this is what Googlebot really wants. They're looking to see the, the link. They want to see its, a, its priority, uh, if it has images, how frequently it might get updated or changed, when it was last modified. This is key. If we go in and edit a page, Google wants to see, hey, there was a page edited they may have known about it for the last three years, but if it was just updated last month, there could be new information there that Googlebot needs to see. So this is a key little area. Every time we publish an article now in WordPress, this sitemap will get updated. The list will change. And every time it changes, it will ping Googlebot and Googlebot will be told, hey, the sitemap's different. There's a new blog post out there or a blog post has been edited or whatever the change might be. And Googlebot can then come in and check it at its leisure, uh, which is usually relatively fast. If you have any questions, or if you're interested in getting going with uh, GoDaddy WordPress hosting or doing a migration from WordPress.com, please check out our other videos. If that's too much trouble or if you're getting stuck and you just need some help and you would like to hire us, hey, we'd love to have uh, you as a customer. Please check us out at WPThemeSpeed.com. Thank you much.